Hi, welcome to the um, second part this week. Um, last time you learned about a new data type, which is Boolean. Boolean values can either be true or false. So remember this it has a weird kind of name, unlike, you know, number, if you know what a number is. Boolean is based on somebody's name, and so he's the guy who talked a lot about these true and false things and what we can do with them. So Boolean values can be either true or false. And that makes them useful for testing things. Today we'll see how to test whether your game character has flown off the edge of your screen. So we'll, today we'll look at Sam the Butterfly. In Dr. Rocket, open the file cage.rkt. So I'm going to do that. Dr. Rocket. In our regular source files folder, here's cage.rocket. Okay. Let's run. I'm going to run that. And you can pause any time and run it yourself if you want to. Follow along. All right, there's Sam the butterfly. Um, and the window is Sam's yard. So like your video game screen, this yard is 648 pixels wide by 488, uh, 480 pixels tall. So Sam can walk around the yard. Um, and the coordinates at the top tell what his location is. So I'm going to use my left, right, up, and down arrow keys. So right now, Sam's X coordinate, and this will be on the center of the image, just like um, we've been dealing with. Um, X coordinate, so how far he is from the left hand side, is 320 pixels. And how far he is from the top, or from the bottom, is 240 pixels which is right in the middle, right? 680, um, 320 is half of 680, 240 is half of, oh, sorry. Yeah, so he sees in the middle of the screen. So I'm gonna use my arrow keys to go back and forth. I'm gonna use my left arrow key to move him left. And as you can see, his uh, X coordinate gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And eventually when his center is in the middle, it'll get to zero. I'm going to use my right arrow key, move him over to the right, and when his center, or wherever, yep, okay, so it's not the center, it's different, it's some, some other part of him, but, um, but yeah, it's 640 off to the right, and same thing with the top, move him over to the left a little, top, there's 480, Y coordinate. There's zero. So actually, he'll keep moving forever because there's nothing to test when he moves off. So I'm just going to keep moving right. And as you can see, the X coordinate is keeping going up as long as I move to the right, even though he's way off the screen. So I'm going to move him back. So Sam's mother tells him it's not okay for him to step outside, or it's okay for him to step outside the yard, but only a short distance. Specifically, she wants to make sure that she can see a little piece of him. So Sam is safe as long as some piece of him is on screen. So we can look over here. Safe, 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 not safe. We can look up here. Safe, 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 safe. Not safe. This means you can go a little past zero on the left, on the left hand side, and a little past 640 on the right. But how far can he go? So if he's 640 by 480 yard, how far can he go to the left and right before he's out of sight? A piece of sand will still be visible on the left as long as what? So I'm going to go over here on the left. I'm going to go all the way down to zero. All right, so he's still safe. Still safe. Still safe. 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 He's still got a little part. Safe. Oh, not safe. All right, so 40 was safe. 50 minus 50 was not safe. So we'll say... A piece of Sam is still visible on the left as long as 
my x coordinate is greater than minus 50. Does that make sense? So when it was well, my x coordinate is greater than minus 50, so minus 40 is greater than minus 50. It's good, but when it got to 50, it was too far. So he was not safe. So we'll say greater than minus 50. You stop right now and figure, so pause the video and figure out how long a piece of Sam is visible on the right. So pause right now and figure that out. All right, and I will look. All right, so there's 640. 680 is okay. 690 is too far. All right, so as long as it looks like as long as it's less than 690. And we'll just use, we'll, 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 it might be 682, 83, 84. We, we, our, our arrow keys, as you can see, move in increments of 10. So we'll just, we'll just use that. So we'll say 670 is okay, 680 is okay, but 690 is too far. So we couldn't see anymore. So draw circles of evaluations for these two expressions. So open your book to page 20. So we'll work on functions called safe left, safe right. All right, and so I'll work on safe left. So as we, we saw, like over here, it was 50 pixels. And if we think about on the right, it was safe uh, up to 690, which is also 50 away from 640. So you can think of there being a safe buffer around the side that was you know 50 pixels worth of safe parts for Sam. So there's not right now there's nothing to keep Sam from leaving his yard. So let's look at the code for this problem and we can define three functions. Safe left, which takes Sam's x coordinate and checks to see if Sam is safe on the left hand side. Safe right, which takes Sam's x coordinate and checks to see if Sam is safe on the right hand side and on screen, which takes Sam's x-coordinate and checks to see if a tiny piece of Sam is on the screen. Right now, the function asks safe left. So let's actually look at those functions in the racket code. So I'm going to close Sam's window here so we can see it. And as we see, here's safe left. And here's our design recipe, safe left, question, safe left, huh, is what they usually say. And remember, we're going to use this question mark and say, huh, um, and as a reminder that it's going to return Boolean. So we, we can name it whatever we want, but there's just a, a good reminder that if we put a question mark in the name of the, the procedure, it's going to return a Boolean. So it's going to take a number, which is going to be the X coordinate, right? And it's going to return a Boolean, so it's either true or false, about whether Sam is safe on the left-hand side. Here's safe right. And here's on screen. So right now, they all turn true, return true, which is why when we run it, let me run again. All right, so this is running every time um, I click something. It's going to run these functions, and so I'm going to run to the left. It, it says safe, safe left is true. I'm going to keep going. Every time I click, it's saying safe left is true, 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 safe left is true. So no matter how many times I click and how low I go, how far to the left we go, safe left is saying true because that's what it's defined to do. Well, we know that that's not correct, but that's what it's doing. So let's change it to make it uh, better. So right now, all three functions return true. Safe left is ignoring Sam's X coordinate and blindly returning true no matter what it is. So what should it be doing? So we'll use the design recipe to fix this. So turn to page 20 of your workbook. And we'll fill it in like this. Okay, safe left, 
that's the name of our function. And then so you can pause as I go through this um, to, to fill in your part of the workbook. So we're going to name it safe left, huh? And it takes in a number, right, which is going to represent the x coordinate of Sam on the uh, x coordinate of Sam. It's going to return a Boolean, which is going to be either true or false. And what does it do? It says, is any part of Sam visible on the left? All right, so let's look at some examples. Safe left. Minus 100. So let's go to, let's go back to Sam. Let's go over till we get to minus 100. So there's minus 100. All right, is that safe? No, because Sam's mom said that it's only safe if we can see part of him. So uh, minus 100 is not safe, so that means in our example it should be false, right? So that's not, that's not going to be true because that's greater than our minus 50 margin. And so we'll say greater than, so is minus 100 greater than minus 50? And we know it's not, right? It's smaller than, it's farther away from zero, so minus 100 is less than minus 50, so this whole thing is false, okay? So this example is false. So safe left of minus 100 checks to see if minus 100 is greater than 50. If it was greater than 50, it would be safe, right? So let's go back and look. I'm going to put him back on the screen. So minus 10, which is greater than minus 50, is safe. Minus 20 is greater than minus 50, which is safe. Minus 30 is greater than minus 50, which is safe. Minus 40 is greater than minus 50, which is safe. Minus 50 is not greater than minus 50, right? So equal is not the same as greater than. So minus 50 is not greater than minus 50, so that means it's not safe, so it'll be false. All right, now let's do another example. Safe left, huh? 320. All right, so we're going to use the same kind of format. We're going to say greater than 320, so is 320 greater than minus 50? And that's going to end up being true. So let's go back to our interactions window. Actually, where do you go? I lost my Sam window. There he is. Let's look at those two examples again. Minus 100, so greater than greater than minus 100, minus 50, false. And that's what we saw, right? He's off the screen. Our second example is 320. I'm sorry, it's greater than 320, minus 50. Is 320 greater than minus 50? Yes. All right, now, with the next part of our design recipe, we look to see what's changing in our examples. And that's these guys here. So that's what we're going to use for a variable. And we can just call that x because in um, our coordinate system, in our, yeah, in our coordinate system, x is how far something moves left and right. Right? And so, and you know, he called it x coordinate. So we can watch that move as I move left and right. x coordinate's going to move. So I think that's a great variable name to use for what's changing here. All right, so now let's put that into our Dr. Racket code. All right. We're going to say example, save left, huh? minus 100. Oops, I forgot how to do my example. 
example, safe left minus 100. It's going to compare to greater than is minus 100 greater than minus 50. Close that example. Example is safe left of 320. So that means it's 320 greater than minus 50. We could actually even run this now. Let's run it now. And it should fail, right? One of these tests. Let's close Sam. Yep, right? This should have been false, but it wasn't. It was true because we haven't changed our function yet. So now let's change our function. So x is the variable we're going to put in. And we know we're going to want something down here for a body. And it's going to be just like our calculation here, greater than, except the thing that's changing. Now, instead of being negative 100 or 320, it's going to be our x coordinate, which we call an x here. All right, and we're going to test that against still minus 50. All right, now let's run our tests again. And as we can see, there's no errors over here. I'm going to run Sam all the way over here. And it looks like there must be some part of the code that actually stops him from moving. I'm, I'm still out hitting left, 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 left. He's not moving. So we can go real quickly and find where that is. Uh, so that's part of the code they really haven't shown us. Um, it's using on screen, but we don't see the whole thing. But it looks like it's using on screen to test whether it's safe to keep moving Sam. And if it's not, it stops it. So they, they um, do that behind the scenes, aren't showing us that right now. All right, cool. All right, so we tried that in Dr. Racket. We ran it. All right, and we tested our function safe left minus 100, and we did 320, but you can do any um, numbers you want to in there to, to save. And then let's look at this on screen. On screen is going to take the x coordinate, take a number, and return a Boolean. And instead of testing itself, you know, whether it should, or Sam is safe, it's using safe left to say whether Sam is safe. And sure enough, if X, when X was not safe for safe left, that means on screen is going to return false. So um, actually we can make tests for on screen if we want. Fifty, and we'll say is fifty greater than no no. So we're gonna we're gonna say is safe left. So we're gonna turn that over to safe left. So we'll say this is true only if safe left. Huh. Is true. And we can say. Minus 100, which is not safe, right? Should give us the same thing as oops, minus 100. We wanted to do a false one. It's always good to try both sides, true and false. So for a Boolean um, function that we're testing, we always want to have at least one example for true and one example for false. And so um, this will be our true and this will be our false one. Run that. 
All right, and those tests passed. All right, now, so you should have um, in your workbook um, number 20 already filled out, uh, page 20 already filled out, and you should have um, uh, in your code safe left already filled out like this, and so you can use different tests if you want to. Now, go back to your book, your workbook, and on page 21 is safe right. So we want to take an X coordinate in and check to see if it's less than 690, right? Because our screen is 640 wide, safe area is 50, so if it's less than 690, then it's not safe. Uh, if it's less than 690, it is safe. So um, do the same steps we did in um, safe left. Do your own for safe right. So first pause here and fill out your, all of this part for safe right. All right, good. Now pause and enter your definition for safe right um, into your Dr. Racket code. Okay, pause and do that. Good. Run it. Make sure you don't get any um, problems with your uh, examples, any your test failures. If you um, have any trouble getting your test to pass, come find me and we'll fix it. All right, and so, yep, here's some tests that it gave. Um, and actually, so test your safe right, and you should get those to pass, but you won't get on screen to pass this way. Um, so safe right, we got working. On screen did not because, let's look back at on screen. On screen is only talking to safe left, right? So here's on screen. It's only talking to safe left. So it's not talking to safe right. Uh, we could change it so it did talk to safe right, but then it would only be talking to safe right and not safe left. So no matter how we um, did safe left and safe right, if on screen is what is controlling whether Sam can stop or will stop or not, then um, he's going to be always incorrect on one side or the other. So right, so that's what they're saying now. Um, you can change it to do safe right, but that's not going to help um, with safe left. So next time today, so today we, we looked at Sam and wrote the functions to keep him on the screen, uh, but on screen only works on one side at a time. So next time we'll learn new functions that will allow on screen to look at both directions. So it'll be able to um, uh, help Sam on both sides. Great. See you next time.